just as crazy. Set up artillery to fire at specific positions with a trigger and a marker. So what I'm going to show you guys today is how to trigger some artillery to land on specific positions. This can be random artillery depending on the way you set it up. Right now I have the player set up with some sandbags in an area. So we're going to start off with a trigger and just one trigger for now. Place that trigger right here and we're going to resize it. So the trigger is going to be within this box. And then we're going to edit the trigger and we're going to set the activation to blue for present and we're going to set it to repeatable. And I'm going to give you guys a code, but we're not going to do the code yet and we're going to put that in the uh, activation box. So for now, we're just going to have set that up. Next, we're going to go to the map, and we're going to set up some artillery assets. So we're going to go way over here. So we're going to place an M270 MLRSHE, which is this guy. So all you need to do for your artillery pieces is you need to name it. So this one we're going to name Gun 1. Alright, so that's going to be 1. The next one we're going to set up over here and we're going to set this one up as an M119 and I'm going to face him this direction. So this is a howitzer. We're going to give this guy a name of Gun 2 and then we're going to go to the map again. We're going to go down to Regina and go to this location and we're going to place down a mortar and face him in this direction and we're going to name him gun three now remember you're only naming the gun not the soldier that's or the crew that's in the gun itself all right so that's all you need to do for the artillery assets let's go back to the player all right, so we're going to save that for now. We're going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to give you guys a code, and we're going to do it in a notepad document, and then transfer the code once we have it ready. All right, here we are in the mission folder. Let's start up a notepad document, and I'm going to give you guys a code. I'm going to give you three lines of code, so press Enter to go one line down, just for space, and here is the code. Underscore ammo space equals space get artillery with a capital A and then ammo space left square bracket gun one right square bracket space select space zero and then semicolon hit enter one line down underscore EGT as in target space equals space get marker pause marker is capital M and then pause is capital P space quote target one end quote and then semicolon hit enter again go one line down gun one space do artillery fire artillery is going to be capital A and then fire is going to be capital F left square bracket underscore TGT comma underscore ammo comma five right square bracket semicolon now let's go one line down again and we're gonna put in a hint or feedback hint space quote incoming exclamation point end quote and then semicolon all right let's go over this code Gun 1 is going to select the artillery ammo and it's going to target, which is short, this is TGT short for target. It's going to get the target at the marker position, which is going to be named target 1. So we still have to put a marker named target 1. And then gun 1, as you can see here is gun 1, this would be the gun 1, is going to fire 
at the target TGT, which is target one, with five rounds of ammo. Now this here, you could change to whatever number you want, provided the artillery piece has enough ammo to do the amount that you want. So you could put one here, you could put five here, you could put 10 here, you could put 20 here. It doesn't matter how many rounds you want this artillery piece to fire. Then we have a feedback hint incoming. What this is for is when you walk into the trigger, it's just giving you feedback that you trigger the trigger. So the point of this is that sometimes in your mission, in the editor, that if the trigger was, isn't set properly, that it could not be triggered or it's not wide enough or it's not big enough for the player to enter it. So this is just this is kind of like a check just to make sure that you are triggering the trigger because you can be staying in for five minutes and it's like uh oh, well the artillery hasn't come yet it must not work well you got to make sure the trigger works too I wouldn't put this in your mission that's just for testing just to make sure that your triggers are working but it's it's trivial so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna copy this entire code highlight it all press Control C and then we're gonna go back into the mission and put it into the trigger. All right, back in the mission, let's edit the trigger. In the on activation box, press Control V, and that pastes the code. Hit OK. Next, what we need to do is we need to go to the map, and we need to go to Markers, F6, and we're going to place an objective marker. So like the code said, we need to place a marker that will be the target for the artillery piece. So once you place your marker, just edit the marker and in the variable name box you're going to put target one. Now remember the variable name for the marker doesn't have to be target one. It doesn't matter what the name is. As long as you define the name in the code that's in the trigger that is to be the target, you know basically the target for the artillery piece, that's all that matters. So just remember the name, names of the guns, the names of the the markers don't need to be what they are. These are just examples to go by. All right, let's save that and let's test it out. All right, so this first artillery piece is going to be the missile rocket truck. All right, incoming. So if we hit escape and actually go to spectator, it should be this guy, I think. <laughs> This guy fired his rockets, and they should land roughly in that area. Oh, here we go. That was pretty cool. Alright, let's do the other triggers. We're going to take this trigger and use it as a template. Highlight the trigger, press Control C, and then we're going to paste the trigger over here and then we're going to edit this trigger and we're going to change the name of the gun so we're going to name this gun 2 and then the target target 1 it won't be target 1 we're going to name it target 2 we have to do another marker and then right here we have gun 2 and then that's it. I'll just hit enter. And then we'll go over here and paste one here. And that's fine. And we'll just edit the trigger. And this one will name gun three. This will be target three. And then we have gun three here. And it just hit OK. All right, so now that we have those triggers set up, let's go to the map. We're just going to copy this marker, press Control C. Oops. And I'm going to place this guy right about here. I'm going to edit it and name it Target 2. And then we're going to place the next one over here. And name this Target 3. So we'll save that and let's test them out. Let's go to spectator. Nice. And then we have 
let's see, gun two was the... Yep, it was this guy. Wow. Here comes... Maybe inbound. And we'll do with three. Hopefully that worked. And if we go to spectator again, that should be this guy. Looks like he fired already. Ooh. That was badass. Dust is crazy. Alright guys, hope you like that. I'm going to zip up that notepad document that I created with the code and I'll link it in the description of the video. I hope you find this code useful and it can be used for a lot of different things. And I want to thank you guys for watching. For more codes and scripts, take a look at it.